Owned by the Billings Bench Water Association, this water intake ditch here in Laurel has seen a lot of activity this summer as it was the site of two river rescues. More activity is expected to come as the BBWA and the city of Billings have partnered together to upgrade the ditch's headgates. The Yellowstone River was much calmer Wednesday than it was back in August. But for Torben Fox, this was actually my first time on the Yellowstone. This water intake ditch on the river in Laurel brings back a terrifying memory. I got pulled into the second one, but I was backwards, so I really didn't know what was happening. Um, I hit the gate, I'm assuming, on my back. Torben was sucked all the way through. I'm not going to die today. He's OK, but a number of others needed rescuing at the same spot. Owned and managed by the Billings Bench Water Association, this ditch supplies water all the way to farmers and shepherds. The gates are pretty old, so they need to replace those. They're manual gates. The city of Billings and the BBWA have entered a memorandum of agreement to use FEMA grant money to rebuild the ditch's headgate in the name of flood mitigation. These will be automated gates and will give the BBWA better control uh, in an emergency to be able to shut those off. If the canal has water in it and needs to be drained, they can automatically at the switch of a button, turn that off. The BBWA and the city expect $1.3 million through the FEMA grant for the headgates, but some of that needs to be matched to get the money. That was specifically what was uh, before council. BBWA is on the hook for, I believe, it's a quarter of it. MTN reached out to the BBWA multiple times, both during the summer incidents and this week, but have not heard back. We're trying to plan for the future. For their part, the city of Billings is happy to see the change. It's smart from a risk standpoint for the city uh, to be in contact and have you know a good relationship with the ditch company so that should something happen, then we know how to respond. In Laurel, Alina Howder, MTN News.